てるバーチャル YouTuber キズナアイですバーチャルのチャロリーケリー月をつけこんにちは月のミトですえ落ちたの<笑>見てみる早いあ待ってあーミミさん<笑> That might be the reason why I'm shut <笑>ミモニメニモニプリティクリシクロワハイえすみません走りますわよ飛ぶこともできちゃう私せいぞうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどう I prefer anal three, honestly. You don't have my nose. <laughs> I will now show you my body. Oh, there's a lot of dudes coming in me. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハGo. Hi, Nani, everyone. I hope you're doing well this lovely afternoon. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because we'll be spending this afternoon learning all about ta -da -da, VTubers. <laughs> VTubers, but more academic. Sounds like we'll be doing a lot of learning today. And what better way to show it than in the style of your typical VTuber screen. stream? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know what, Sen? Sounds like we could be VTubers in the future if we keep this up. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds really fun. Anyway, Loko Yokoso, my name is Sen. And if my name is Eri, I'm the god looking fox avatar. I, I, am, I am the bird. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we're your hosts for UP Avis Aqueleft for this year. year behind the screen in partnership with UP Mobile Land. Ooh, pachi, pachi, pachi. Okay, before we start, formally start our event though, we do have a brief announcement. As you may already know, we have guests that will appear later in the event. Due to unfortunate circumstances, Pometa will not be able to attend as guests for today's event. We sincerely apologize to those who are expecting them to come, but nonetheless, we hope that you'll stick around and enjoy what we have for you today. So, yeah. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but uh, we still have a lot for today. And what exactly do we have in store for us today? For that, let us check out our schedule, shall we? Mm -hmm. For today's schedule, we have Part 1A, VTubers History and Impact International. Ooh, Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide <laughs> indeed. And then after that, we'll take a short break from all that uh, brain, brain work around and have an intermission 
Guess the VTuber Local Edition. Mm. And after the short break, we have part 1B, VTuber's history and impact. Of course, if we have the one for international, we of course have the ones for local. Support local, guys. Yes, tamanama, we have to support our local talents. And speaking of local talents, our part 2 is our VTubers Q&A featuring our guests, which will be a career discussion all about VTubing. So, very exciting! Mm. Yes, I'm pretty sure all of you have a lot of uh, questions in mind for our guests. And, you know, seems like we've got quite a lot to cover today, right, Sen? Yeah, but, you know, there's, there's a lot, so there's nothing left to it but to get to it. That's right, let's get into it. First, let's start off with the international side of VTuber history and culture. But before we begin, what exactly is a VTuber? Although that is uh, not the correct question to ask, knowing that a lot of you in the chat probably <laughs> already know what a VTuber is. And, you know, this is kind of a boot point. But for those of you who are not familiar with a VTuber, we, we'd be glad to enlighten you on this trick. But first, a disclaimer. As much as we'd love to discuss the entire history of VTubing in this program, Ari and I are mere mortals, and discussing the actual entire history with all of the details and bells and whistles is not possible within the span of two hours. However, we will try our best nonetheless. So, again, back to the point, what is a VTuber? So, VTubers are online entertainers who use digital avatars to disguise their real-world appearance. So, as you can see on the side, Kizuna Ai is a popular example of a VTuber. Yes, other than this uh, definition, through the use of computer graphics and motion capture, or mocap for short, the virtual avatar interacts with the audience. We have here Mirai Akari is another VTuber that makes use of the technology of motion capture. You may or may not already know that though. <laughs> Yes, you may. Yeah, you might be familiar already. In fact, here we have a visual of a person making use of the VTubing technology, at least one of the many. The character in the screen is mimicking the motions of the person wearing the mocap suit. Yeah, really makes full use of the full body motion capture, but it looks a lot harder than it seems. Yep. A lot of equipment is generally used for these 3D models to come to life on your screen. It is a lot. Not to mention the software work in the behind the scenes that comes to play when actually making the models. Right, all the models I've seen look so pretty. Artists really do be putting in a lot of work, like kudos. <laughs> yeah, honestly, they're so pretty. I've seen like so many like speed model videos, they're so good at it. And here we see an example of those programs that make use of the motion capture technology for this time for. 2D VTubers. This is VTube Studio. Some of you may be familiar with this. This is a program that uses your webcam to track your facial expressions and now even your hand movements and projects them onto your 2D avatar. And it's it's a lot. I can assure you, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a lot. Though even though it looks like a lot, you know, it seems like it's actually quite interesting to learn yeah. about the work that goes into the VTuber models. But <laughs> yeah, sadly, we're not here to learn that today. So, uh, but maybe next time, though, you know, okay. what if? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's time we learn more about the history, history of, of VTubers. VTubers. Yay! So we now go to the origin of VTubers. But even before the start of VTubing, there's actually quite a number of virtual icons, terms, and groups that have similarities to VTubing, sometimes even a cultural relation of sorts. Prior to VTubing, the cultures and activities prominent in the VTubing scene have their own histories as well. Many of these have eventually become core aspects of the VTuber scene. So why don't we start with something a lot of people might be familiar with, Vocaloids and Japanese Idols. Ooh. Yes! Woo! Let's begin with Vocaloids. For those who aren't familiar, but uh, to be honest, I'm pretty sure we, we all probably familiar here if you're, you're watching here. What exactly are Vocaloids? Various oh. terms are used to call them, such as vocalist, character, or even mascot. 
but in short, a Vocaloid vocalist is an illustrated character of a Vocaloid trademark, which is a powered voice bank. Yes, yeah, so there are many characters that represent various voice banks. Some examples are Megvoid Gumi, Hagamine Rin and Len, and the one and only Miss Hatsune Miku. Yes, Saite. Ivan Ohime is now. Yes, so, oh my god. She is queen. Yes, iconic <laughs> queen. Yes, she is queen. I'm pretty sure a lot of you here probably, you know, f- very, find her very fondly in your childhood. Probably yes, one of your gateways. A, a big part of our yeah. teenage years, maybe childhood years. Yeah, even. probably a gateway to becoming a weeb or you know <laughs> a gateway to a lot of japanese music as well <laughs> yes yes but how exactly do you actually get qualified or classified as a vocaloid simply put the product has to be acknowledged by the yamaha corporation under their licensing terms it includes characters from games with vocals powered by the vocaloid software and privatized vocals because at its core, Vocaloid is a singing synthesis software. That's a harsh, it's a hard word for people with lisps like me, but <laughs> it's basically vocal synthesis. So if, this, if they say that, oh, it's a robot singing, eh, they're not wrong. But yeah, it's a bit of a formality there. But Vocaloids, after all, at, its, at, at their core, Vocaloids are products. Yes, but of course, they have to be more than just products. The voice banks are given more life through the characters that represent them. Hmm. Sounds quite familiar, doesn't it? Yep, that's where the similarity lies with VTubers. Characters from both worlds are usually virtual idols, have a character model to represent them, and sing and dance. Of course, not all VTubers do this as a side note. Yeah, the Japanese idols also share some similarities if you put it that way. But uh, what are they mind explaining a bit <laughs> oh boy that is that is an old culture like <laughs> really Thunders old culture. Like, the timeverse culture bro that's that's way beyond my own years <laughs> not that i'm old but... <laughs> not that i'm that old but it's really old like, it goes all the way back to the 60s it's far older stuff but it's a pretty widespread thing in japan even today it, and, it, and it's handled by many agencies and companies as you can see here And also, they are entertainers, specifically manufactured and marketed for image, attractiveness, and personality. As you can see here, they really paint a kind of image that's meant to be attractive to their fans. Again, very similar to VTubers that engage in such activities. However, apart from Japanese idols regularly set in the real world, there are differences between them. For one, agencies have aggressive control over the idol's public image, even their private life. Like you said, they paint an image to fans. This careful catering helps in maintaining a strong bond, especially with passionate people. It's far more strict and rigid in how agencies handle their idols to please fans. Behind the pretty lights is extremely hard work and dedication to their craft. They're really hardcore about this. On the contrary, VTubers, more or less, have far more relaxed standards. If any of you out there have watched certain JP VTubers, you would be familiar with them mixing conventional, you know, gentlemanly traits and femininity and all that stuff. And, you know, un- un- improper, unladylike, ungentlemanly behavior to certain fa- to entertain fans. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, in the VTubing community, we call this being Seiso and being Yabai. Seiso being, you know, proper, safe, Mm -hmm. PG-13, and Yabai being... Yabai. Yabai. That's it. No explanation needed. Yabai is Yabai. Yabai is Yabai. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) But even though YouTubers have more variety when it comes to topics that they can talk about, some of them, you know, they still follow a set of rules and expectations that fans have for them. Hmm. Sounds like instead of seeing VTubers in Japanese idols, it's actually the other way around. We see a bit of the Japanese idol culture in VTubers themselves. 
Yes, it makes sense though. Japanese idols have been around far longer than VTubers. Like, like, like I said, it's an old culture. <laughs> really old. Yes. <laughs> and even though both do end up doing activities like singing. Oh, yes. And speaking of singing, that leads us to our next point. The virtual singers like Utaite. Seems like this one is, it's a bit more about singing based on my knowledge of Japanese, you know, Uta. Yes. Yes, simply put, Utaite is a term for people who cover songs. Then, they post it on Japanese video sharing site Niko Niko Doga under the Uta Temita category. A rough translation of Uta Temita would be something like, I tried to sing. And the term Utaite is actually unique to Niko Niko Doga singers. It's not the general term used for singers, which would instead be Hashu. Fun fact, the term for Utaites who post in YouTube rather than Niko Niko are Utaites, you know, YouTube Utaite. But uh, nowadays, even the Utaites are more actively posting on YouTube rather than Niko Niko Doga due to the wide reach of YouTube. So you can see like many popular Utaites, like, they probably probably even be inactive in Niko Niko just because YouTube is a lot more accessible to more people. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, yes. And other than that, uh, Utaites uh, generally cover popular Vocaloid, anime, game, and J-pop songs. Although, they also sometimes, you know, have a little fun and make parodies instead. Yes, yes, there's a lot of them. And popular Utaites include Mafu Mafu, Soraru, Naruse. Yes, that's pronounced Naruse, not Nurse. Naruse, Amatsuki, Koroneko, again, Koroneko, not 96 Neko, <laughs> as I did when I was <laughs> Pretty a kid. sure we all made that mistake oh, before. Just like, just like with Deco 27, it's Deco Nina, guys. It's Koroneko. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Chogakusei, our, our, our very hand Kemen mask singer. And although currently popular J-pop artists Rayol, Eve, and Ado also started out as Utaite. And here are some popular Utaite covers as well. Yeah, so you can see here Chogakusei's Bagu cover. We have Ado's Darin Dansu cover. Kuroneko's Vampire cover. Everyone's covered Vampire. And Sora Mafu or Soraru and Mafu Mafu's cover of I. Hmm. So, see this. What do, you th- what do you think are the similarities between Otaite and VTubers? Hmm, the similarities between Otaite and VTubers. The Utaite sounds pretty mysterious, usually only represented by their icons we showed earlier. It's quite similar to how VTubers hide their identities. Plus, they do cover songs which idol like VTubers do. However, like with idols, it's important to know that not all VTubers make covers. It's simply a common thing for VTubers to do. But we have this example right here that's a cover from a VTuber, which is Finana Ryugu's Change Cover. Uh, yes, and it's quite interesting how something that seems unrelatable to VTubers would share similar qualities. Like, you know, they have look at all these covers of Vocaloid songs, which is something that Utaitans do. Like, that's what they're known for, making Vocaloid songs. And these making covers of Vocaloid songs, and these are all like VTubers being like Otaitis and covering Vocaloid songs. And, you know, this similarity, it, perhaps it has something to do with the virtual landscape, giving them a sense of freedom and anonymity. Yes, and it doesn't end there. There are so many virtual icons that we can squeeze all of them here for today. So we only have some examples that we can show. Yes, finally. So after all of those um, cultural assets of uh, of VTubing, we have some other VTuber adjacent virtual icons from before the VTuber era or the VTuber boom. Yeah, that's right. We will sort of step out of weebdom to trace a little bit of what we can can consider VTubers. And the first of them is this band called Gorillaz. Gorillaz is a virtual band created in 1998. Damn, I wasn't alive yet. By Damon (laughs) Halbert. (laughs) <laughs> and Jamie Hewlett that consists of four fictional animated band members, Judy, Murdoch Nichols, Russell Hobbs, and Noodle. They were the f- one of the first prominent figures in Western culture to make use of virtual avatars to represent themselves in various activities. 
Yes, yeah, some of us might actually be familiar with their music. I know I was, even though they're a lot older than me. <laughs> they probably yeah. wasn't like cognizant when, when they were popular, but you know, we're definitely familiar with gorillas. They're still active even to today. Yeah. Yeah, yep. they're still making bangers. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, and then the next we have um I would I would I'm sorry in advance. I would like to grace you with this knowledge. Yes. But <laughs> technically <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks, they are VTubers. <laughs> How <laughs> unfortunate. But yes, Alvin and the Chipmunks is a six time Grammy Award winning animated music group created by Ross Begdasarian Sr. in 1958. So they use virtual avatars, but they are these aren't the actual people behind these they're not representing their actual selves, but they are posing, I guess. <laughs> 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 the group consists of Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, li- real cultural icons. You know, yeah. all of those Alvin and the Chipmunks covers in YouTube. It's iconic. It's it's essential to VTuber history, guys. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we you have to live after after this acclet. You have to accept the fact that all of these VTubers that you love <laughs> they they owe they owe a lot from the start they of the Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, but okay, but enough of that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, anyway, now that we've traced that, uh, we, some of the VTubers uh, trace back to like Western culture such as gorillas and Alvin and the Chipmunks. Now we will trace the actual um, history of VTubing to see its growth and expansion on the internet over the years. Rather than small and humble beginnings, VTubing actually started as quite the internet sensation at the time. It was so popular as it was a new trend that suddenly popped up seemingly out of nowhere. Can you all guess what I'm talking about? That's right. It's the birth of Kizuna Ai, popularized as the first VTuber. Yes, Kizuna Ai was considered as the first VTuber conceived in the year 2016. It was a time when her style of content was fresh and unique, thus attracting many fans from different communities such as the anime community. Kizuna Ai was also the one to coin the fateful term virtual YouTuber or just VTuber for short. Since then, VTuber has become the general term used to refer to content creators using virtual avatars. After Kizuna Ai's debut, her constant surge to popularity inspired many aspiring content creators to pursue the same type of content she has. Eventually, after some time, there have been some popular figures that caught the eye of the young VTuber audience. Q, the Four Heavenly Kings. Oh, this was the time when VTubers were actually just purely using 3D models to display themselves. Equipment placed around a room and outfitted on a person was the norm. And, you know, it was very expensive to both maintain Mm -hmm. and create content at that time. At the same time as well, videos were in short format, recorded and edited before being posted on YouTube. Unfortunately, due to the heavy demands of simply creating this kind of content, Content creators would would eventually drop out of the trend as there were no cheaper alternatives at the time. Yeah. Nevertheless, it was an age where the VTubing community was starting to grow ever so slowly. Mirai Akari, Deno Shoujoshiro, Noja Loli, and Kaguya Luna were the most popular VTubers at that time, second only to Kizuna Ai, thus the informal title for Heavenly Kings, popularly bestowed by the VTuber fans. But you might be wondering why Kizuna Ai is not included in the Four Heavenly Kings title. Although she was originally part of the group, due to, due to Kizuna Ai's popularity, her subscriber count was, you know, miles ahead of that of her than that of her peers. This gave Kizuna Ai her own spotlight as the Oyabun or the boss, and gave way to Shiro to be part of the Four Heavenly Kings. Of course, you know, even though that seem to be the case. This doesn't discredit the four heavenly kings' own respective spotlights and achievements. But as all good times come, 
they eventually go. The VTubing community was still active but became a lot quieter compared to the first year. It was not until the year 2018 when the VTuber agency Nidhi Sanji was formed by Any Color Incorporated. Although their original intent was to promote their visual and face tracking technology, VTubing instead eventually became the pursuit of the company and its popularity rising once again. But did Niji Sanji use the same 3D model style of content? In their humble beginnings, they used something different. This was the shift from 3D to 2D based designs. Such mediums did not require the expensive demand of equipment for 3D models during that time. This was the technology that gave content creators a chance to try out VTubing once again. But this time was where the cheaper alternative was finally found. Additionally, instead of short format videos, live streaming became popularized as the norm during that time. As an example, Tsuki no Mito of Nidhi Sanji's first wave uses a live 2D model in her streams. This simple form of showcasing the VTuber appeal as well as the increased engagement with the audience once again attracted aspiring creators to try it out. Whether it was joining companies like Nidhi Sanji or becoming the independent instead. After the rise of 2D models, various companies and independent VTubers took advantage of the popularity and began pursuing their own cr respective careers in content creation as VTubers. One of those is Hololive Production, a VTubing agency formed by CoverCorp back in 2017. Similar to AnyColor Incorporated, their original intent was also to promote their virtual 3D technology until VTubing became popular after a while. The difference is that Hololive adopted the JP Idol culture into their VTubers, but not without giving their talents the freedom to create their content. Hololive started out with using 3D models as well, until they also started using Live 2D as an alternative. While not as much as Niji Sanji, Hololive enjoyed some form of popularity among the Japanese audience, not, but not so much on the global scale just yet. The, as the VTubing community continued to grow over the years, the number of VTubers grew as well. It gave the community more reach and eventually more attention from a globalized audience. While there was still this language barrier that prevented a broader audience from fully getting into the VTubing scene, people started coming bit by bit. Soon, the gap started to close. One particular iconic Hololive VTuber, Kirio Koko, debuted in 2019. Her being fluent in both Japanese and English was unique among her Japanese peers and this was something that began bridging the gap. Yes, Kiryu Koko also strives to create content that will appeal more to overseas fans, which inspired many VTubers, including her own peers, to try the same. While she wasn't the sole person uh, responsible in pushing for VTubers to become more popular, Kiryu Koko was certainly at the front of it during her time. But did they actually become more popular today? They certainly did. Welcome, Welcome to the to era, era of, of VTubers. VTubers. Yay! Woo! <laughs> With an exciting start and a humble and slow growth to popularity, the VTubing community has finally taken its first step to a globalized audience and has since been on its way to becoming a global sensation. But perhaps they already have. In 2020, Hololive released their first generation of EN VTubers, which one could say completed the bridge that was closing the gap between the originally primarily JP-only audience and a broader, more English-speaking community. Soon enough, Niji Sanji also released their own set of EN VTubers, adding more to the increasing growth of the community as a whole. Speaking of which, have you seen the massive growth of VTubers over these years? I know I have. I mean, it was a, it was a big jump scare for me. It was like, <laughs> like suddenly there were VTubers all over the place. Yes, that's and true. Actually, um, on YouTube alone, they went from 16 million views per year in 2017, which is already a lot, to 1.5 billion views per month. Per month this per year month. alone. Per month. That is a huge number. Oh my goodness, that numbers definitely went up over the years. Even if it's just from YouTube alone. 
Yes, I mean, we all know that moment when we saw, uh, when we were scrolling through probably like Twitter or Facebook and we suddenly see all these posts about VTubers and then we're, we get curious and then suddenly we're down the rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> that, is where, that is where I did not fall. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I am. I am proud to say. Ari has been. Ari has not been trapped by the brain rot yet, but soon he will be. Soon he will be. It's oh inevitable, Ari. How 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 was the experience there in the rabbit hole? Is, is it fun? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I guess once you fall into the rabbit hole, you 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 can never go back. There's again. no crawling back up. Oh my. God. Gosh. <laughs> well, anyway, as I said, I did not fall into rabbit hole, into the rabbit hole, but it was nice knowing more about VTubers still as a whole, especially the hard work they put into their craft. Right? It's legit really inspiring to see their growth. So, how about we take a look at some of them? Sure, no time to lose then. We mentioned the VTuber companies and independents before, and here is where we'll showcase some of them, who you may or may not already know about. Why don't we start with where it all began, the eastern side of the world. And I'm guessing we'll be including the ones we mentioned before, right, Sen? Yep, of course. They are very popular companies and VTuber agencies, after all. And of course, one of those examples is... Niji Sanji, a popular VTuber agency. As previously mentioned, Niji Sanji Project, or simply Niji Sanji, is made of primarily 2D virtual YouTubers called Virtual Livers under Any Color Incorporated. It was founded by Riku Tazumi on May 2, 2017, who is also the current CEO of Any Color Incorporated. Yes, Tazumi Shacho! <laughs> <laughs> there are various groups under Niji Sanji projects, such as the original Japanese Niji Sanji, Virtual Real, and Niji Sanji EN. But since we are talking about Eastern VTubers, let's focus on those in Japan for now. This might be a bit confusing, but the main branch is also simply just called Niji Sanji, which you know, initially it only consisted of the JP lovers until they merged with their Indonesian and Korean branches. So. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there's this is not even all of them. <laughs> so these are just the top ten most subscribed in Niji Sanji. Tsukino Mito, obviously the first. Kuzuha and Kanae, who formed the duo Crow Noir. Sasaki Saku, Hoshikawa Sara, and Aj Katrina, among many. This there, this is like only a fraction of them. There wow. are a hundred something. <laughs> there are a hundred Def- something guys. Oh my gosh, you can definitely see the growth. <laughs> the growth in numbers and uh, oh my gosh Niji Sanji and of course if we talk about Niji Sanji we're also gonna talk on the, talk about another agency that was mentioned of course Hololive Productions Hololive is also a talent agency that is composed of virtual YouTubers but under Cover Core instead it was founded in the year 2017 by the CEO of Cover Core Motoaki Tanigo or as Titalas would like to call him Yago 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 Hololive also has branches of its own, with Hololive JP being considered as the main branch, consisting of talents that mostly speak Japanese. Hololive JP has spawned various VTubers grouped into generations based on their group's debut order. So you probably know uh, Marine uh, Ozora Subaru. I'm not sure about their names. I'm not a Hololive person, but uh, Okami Miko. <laughs> <laughs> Okami. Uh, I forgot. Sakura Miko. I'm sorry. I'm not a Hololive person. <laughs> just try my best. Uh, I just know, know their. Know how they look like. <laughs> Yes, and there's a lot of them. So the generations of uh, generations zero to five, Hololive gamers, and the latest, I think, in Hololive JP, Secret Society Holo X. So Laplace is there. All right, and you know, you know, looking at these two companies, two agencies, there really are a lot of VTubers under their name. Yep, if they even have their own app. Actually, there's a lot, and if you want to add to that growing number already, which is already, oh dear, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, if you would like to add to that growing number, they even have their own application processes from time to time. So if you're interested in giving it a try, go ahead. I know I did. 
<laughs> well, this is this exposing <laughs> yourself. Yes, I am <laughs> a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, but you know, even though if you you know if you choose to not uh, affiliate yourself with a company, you know there are VTubers that are under companies, of course, and whatnot. But surely there are also ones who are not, which are called independent VTubers, right? Yep, there are also Japanese VTubers that wanted to try streaming as a VTuber, but you know they did not again choose to affiliate themselves with a the company because you know they have their reasons. Maybe they didn't want to be restrained or they didn't feel like they would be a good fit for a company one way or another they did not intend to be in a company and so they didn't pursue it yes and uh, since they're not bound to a company they have complete free reign with the kind of content that they want to do whenever they want an example would be Mika Neko who recently got her live duty model who and sometimes live streaming whenever she feels like it Inuyama Tamaki is also a popular male Japanese independent VTuber who often collaborates with lots of VTubers, either from Hololive, Niji Sanji, or with various other independents as well. Finally, we have Shigure Ui, an independent VTuber who is also known for her illustrations for light novels. Wow, artist. Ooh. Artist. <laughs> VTubers certainly come in all shapes and sizes, huh, Sen? One minute you think they're just a regular streamer, and the next thing you know, they actually have a job beyond just being a VTuber or streamer. And, you know, that, that's fine and fair, but that's part of the fun. You get to explore being a streamer and, you know, doing all these streamer things while adopting an identity sometimes of your own creation. But at the same time, you can even integrate what you already do whether it is being a composer, an artist, or etc. And, and that's already a lot, but we haven't even seen the Western VTubers yet. Yes, there will certainly be a lot more variety there, but disclaimer first, we may say Western, but it generally refers to, EN, to English-speaking VTubers, so not, not strictly people in the West. I mean, Australian people exist, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the companies as usual. Hololive also has a subgroup called Hololive EN, or Holo EN for short, which handles English-speaking talents instead. Groups of VTubers within Holo EN are also organized into generations, but they are more formally referred to by their respective group names. Holo Myth, Project Hope, and finally Holo Council as the latest generation. Niji Sanji also has an EN branch, which is called... Well, <laughs> Niji Sanji EN. How creative. So far, yeah. Well, <laughs> so far, there have been seven waves, with the latest wave, XLA, having debuted just days ago. Ooh! <laughs> they, they literally just debuted a few days ago, and some of them had their debut 2.0 like yesterday. Finally, wow. we have an organization that is actually US based. Its name is V Shoujo, and it prim primarily uses Twitch as its platform rather than YouTube. And some of you might actually be familiar with that. And here are their lovely talents. So, a fun fact some of them actually started as streamers, VTubers, or just in general YouTubers uh, way before V Shoujo was formed. And they all just decided, I might as well join V Shoujo. Uh, but that doesn't mean their content changed. Yes, but of course, we can never forget the independence. We have Miori Celesta, formerly a member of My Holo TV and Tsunderia, Chibidoki, a streamer who posts mainly on Twitch, and Shoto, a Vietnamese American VTuber. Yes, our good boy, our, our, our dog boy. Yes. Yes, that was actually quite the mouthful of VTubers, and you know, honestly, I wasn't sure if it was gonna end. Oh, God, you, you bet, Sen. And we've just <laughs> barely scratched the surface. We'd run out of time if we tried to name them all. <laughs> yes, yeah, that shows you how much of a big reach VTubers really have. And speaking of reach, they also have various collaborations outside of, you know, VTubing, you know, streaming and all that. So, yes. First is, oh dear, Amo, Amo, Among Us. Oh my god. <laughs> so Among oh Us, sorry, Among Us, not Among Us. Among <laughs> Us. <laughs> we're just, uh, we're among just so among Us among and Hololive collaboration, uh, which featured some of the talents of Hololive as, I believe, skins and accessories for Among Us. 
Fun fact, I've never played Among Us. <laughs> oh, what? If you've never delved into VTubers, I've never played Among Us. You've never played Among Us? Now, now that, okay, so now that you've exposed yourself <laughs> as a VTuber, you will promise that you will have a first time playing Among Us 3. <laughs> we'll see about that. It's recorded. Everyone here in chat. No <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed just threatening someone to play among us okay <laughs> okay and next we have a collaboration between niji sanji en and princess connect princess the princess connect v dive so they featured homo rain puff inana ryugyu selen tatsuki and the members of etheria there there are four of them you don't i don't need to name all of them there are four of them uh in a collaboration with the game princess connect v dive and finally, we have a collaboration between Mori Kalaipi of Polo Live EN and Universal Music. And I believe this was her first album. Mm. So crazy. And finally, we have collaborations with Vocaloid producers. I told you guys, Vocaloid is a core part of, of VTubing because even today, VTubers collaborate with Vocaloid producers. So we have uh, Takanashi Kiara's cover of Ira. Uh, song for blood and uh, i believe this is tokoyami toa's cover of palette so you know they still it's, it's still active both the vtubing community and the vocaloid community and they collaborate a lot yes <laughs> feel like it's you know gonna happen eventually uh, but yes oh wait we hope your brain cells are still okay after all that how are you guys doing it was quite how are you guys dump. Yes after all how are you guys doing yes to give our brain cells a break actually although is it is it really a break is it is it let's play yeah. a game the game is called who's, who's that, that vtuber Yay. <laughs> and here are the rules once the vtuber silhouette is shown the audience is free to chat the answer don't spam the answer, please. <laughs> please chat your answer only as mu once as much as possible. And also, there will be a 30-second time limit for each guest. The hosts will reveal the VTuber once the answer is in chat. Okay, are y'all ready? <laughs> are y'all ready? Ready, uh, ready, ready? Ready, ready? ready? All right, let's see. And go. So... First one, guess who's that VTuber? That VTuber, who might it be? <laughs> Let's go. Who's who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Come on. All right. Okay, so there's a. I'm gonna assume that 30 seconds have passed. I wasn't actually timing it. <laughs> <laughs> there was no. But there were already a lot of answers. correct answers. So, yes, oh. it is Elaine. Yes, so yes. Elaine is is our first answer. So, congratulations to once again. Yes. Next, next one. Who's that VTuber? Hmm. My pong prize, ha? <laughs> I'm not competitive. <laughs> this is just for fun. This is just for fun. This is for fun. This is just to relax our brain cells before we just, head just on to the next. Just your knowledge of how much of a... Um... <laughs> much of a degenerate are they? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway... I think yes, it is Miria. Yes, Miria. Yes. Next. Next, who is that VTuber? Oh. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> it's Kusugaki. <laughs> oh yes, it is Virgil. Virgil. That's right, that's right. That's correct, it is Virgil indeed. And next, who is that VTuber? Oh, this might be a little hard, but it also might be easy yeah. depending on yeah. how well you know your VTuber. <laughs> Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. 
people any come on guys there's I, I see some wrong answers but i also see some correct answers so i see some correct come on come on and who <laughs> is that who's that All right i'm seeing some very very funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> Who this is, is Deichu. Yes, yes, this is indeed Deichu. Yes. All right. Next. Who is this VTuber? Come on, guys. This is going to be easy. You know those those uh big tails? Question mark. What are those? Big tails? <laughs> Buns? <laughs> Buns? <laughs> Buns? <laughs> Tentacru? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. This is this is a VTuber, not a Pokemon. But who is that VTuber? <laughs> that, is, on, chat. that is Kira Omori. Yes, it is indeed Kira Omori or Mori Kira. Um next we have our final actually. It's our final question, I believe. Yes. Yes. Who's that? 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 That is a really interesting silhouette. I think a lot of VTubers do sort of have similar. I hope you don't confuse it with another VTuber. Oh wow! I don't think they 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 confuse. Wow, you you guys are so degenerate. You're a degenerate. Uh, we're calling you out chat we're calling you out yeah this is this is the part where we call you out but who is that vtuber that is yuria it is yuria hey woo. Woo. so yeah that's... yeah we had a game that's it of that's course it. That's that's not it. It. <laughs> of course it's just the rest of brain cells guys yeah, yeah. Not expect much. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Which they're definitely that's definitely not our way to introduce them to you guys and welcoming them to this athlete. Yeah, well, that, that's that's totally yeah. that. I mean, was that really just a guessing game, or I don't know, it could be something more. I don't know. It's a suspicious lineup, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice thing. For real, for real, for real, for real. For real, for real, for okay. real. Okay. Okay, so we really are having a break. <laughs> We're really, okay. Give us a break. We gotta recuperate our brain cells. Cause yeah. We gotta got prepare our brain, brain cells. We gotta prepare our brain cells for, you know, I don't and know. Potential. Potential. There's a lot more, There's a lot more in store for you guys. Yeah. The break for brain cells potentially i don't know talking to these people eh, i'm not sure eh. <laughs> we, may, we may or may not be
go. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello. 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 We're back. We're yeah. back. <laughs> We're back. Hello. Sorry for for the. We really needed to take a break, guys. That was a lot of info, and I hope you were able to <laughs> yeah. process all of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you already had like a clue that that wasn't just a game. That was a theory. No, I'm kidding. That was, of course, <laughs> our way of segueing to welcoming our VTuber guests. Ooh, so without further ado, let us welcome our beloved guests for today. So, oh, so first, I'm actually just unmute whenever you want. <laughs> yeah. Hello, guys. Uh, come in, come in, come in. Come in, hey, come hi. in. Hello. 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 <laughs> hello. There go. Hello. There they are. <laughs> oh hi, guys. guys. Hello. Don't be shy, guys. Come on, say hi. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, good morning. Hello. <laughs> so, I, I hope you guys are doing great. Yeah. Yes, sir. And so, short introduction, naman. Short introduction, naman. Just for our yeah, yeah, yeah. Short for the <laughs> Alphabetical order. Let's go. No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Hey, no, 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 Hello, I am Deichu, uh, Pink Dwarf YouTuber. Hello, guys. <laughs> Yay! Hello! Hello! Hello. Oh. Oh, yeah, wala ka ng takas, Kira. Kira, oi! <laughs> <laughs> sorry na, sorry na. Okay. Hello, everyone! Kira Omori, your local live 2D rigger! What's up? Let's go! Let's go! Hello, Kira. And finally... Last but not the least. Last but not the least. Wala ka na talagang takas. <laughs> Oh my gosh, hello. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Iria. You're one and only vampire feats. Uh, vampire Pegasus VTuber. It's nice to meet you here. Uh, oh. Thank you so much for the opportunity for having me here. Oh. Yay! Hi, Iria. Hi, So, guys, how are you guys? Doing great. How are you guys? As I hope you are, we're, you're just ex- as excited as we are, and as um, <laughs> everyone in chat. There is a lot of them. Holy heck! Yeah, <laughs> yes, a lot of, lot of degenerates. Okay, don't, <laughs> don't be nervous. It's fine. We're also nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's, fine. it's part. It's part of life. The scuff but, is part of VTubing, guys. Scuff is part of VTubing, but uh, now. Th- now that we have now that we have our lovely guest here with us i hope that you all of all of you are getting comfortable so now let us proceed to the next part of our discussion that involves the vtubers in the philippines yay so we're in local now let's go so let's first take a look at some questions actually regarding filipinoness and its impact on vtubing culture no, no, no. I have a question for our lovely guests here today. We are curious about what you think of the Filipino VTubing scene, as of course you are VTubers yourselves. So, question number one Do you think Filipinos were actually into VTubers back then? To think in you guys. Like before you debuted, yeah. like, do you think they were into Filipinos were into VTubers? What do you guys think? I think I'm pretty sure. Um, They've always been a thing for them because you know animes in general, mm, and yeah. I'm pretty um uh, before honestly as a Filipino, uh and haven't debuted back then. All I've been heard was like whole life this, whole life that, mm. and if people are like so addicted to Vocaloid and Hatsune Miku and such, I doubt that it's not it's not you know, it's not something that they're not gonna be into. Yeah, even in three debuts, so yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, makes sense. Yes. So, okay, make it, that makes sense. But let's see what actually what Google Trends has to say about it. So Ooh. here we have a graph. 
Wow, may graphs tayo, guys. <laughs> wow, graphs. It's very academic. <laughs> Ayun, kulay Pretty ano din, kulay Pilipinas. <laughs> Ayun nga, no? <laughs> But yes, uh, so this is uh, the VTuber topic um, worldwide. And um, as you can see, yellow is uh, VTuber, the term VTuber. Blue is the search trends for Hololive. And yellow is the search trend for Niji Sanji. Um, no, sorry, not yellow. Red is Niji Sanji. That was a typo. Um, yellow is the VTuber. So as you can see, um, around 20... Yeah, around 2019 and 2018. This was in the span of five years, by the way, this graph. So around that time, you know, it's 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 not a lot. But, you know, at the time, it's like, all right, a decent amount. You would expect that to be barely anything. But it already existed back then, as you guys may know. Like, you know, 2017 was like the start like 2016 even because of kizuna ai but once you, you see at around 2020 um it started like going up and that was the spark of the the vtuber boom you know um and as you can see it's the curves and the spikes are similar amongst the terms vtuber hololive and niji sanji um With slight differences on their early years, so you can see that the term VTuber has just been in a consistent uh, slope going up, whereas um, Hololive got a sudden spike in popularity, and then Niji Sanji is like slowly but surely spiking until the recent uh, debuts of their English talents. Um, uh, and as you can see with the next slide, um, we can see which countries had the most like searches. For uh, v- for VTuber adjacent trends, and actually Vietnam has a lot <laughs> for whole. This is for Hololive, and mm. a lot of it uh, Vietnamese searches. And then inland, <laughs> that's a surprise. I expected like yeah, Vietnam, Singapore, South Korea, Russia as well, and then for the Philippines for our next graph, which is the Philippines, it's a similar looking graph. It's very similar to the worldwide because, well, we're still part of the world, guys. The Philippines. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Philippines exist. <laughs> the Philippines is still part of the world. So it's quite, um, it's not surprising that our graph. Sorry, uh, we will. Hold on. Let me edit that real quick. There. Nobody is now allowed to get mad over that. <laughs> um, I don't know if it'll update there red um so the niji sanji graph is similar the hololive graph is similar but the vtuber graph um is, the vtuber term graph is actually on a lower trend than hololive because of Bo- hololive probably being filipino's first like foray into vtubing like for that su- certain point in time you know hololive became a really really popular Oh, uh, sorry. What happened to the screen? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! What happened? Oh, no. <laughs> Close your eyes, guys. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Welcome to Scuff. All right, all right. We're back. All right. So here we can see the trends of where in the Philippines certain trends were popular, and as you can see, dang, whole life has a chokehold. <laughs> On the oh, <laughs> it's Damn. quite the chokehold. Um, a lot of it is uh, based on obviously this is this ranking is based on Hololive searches. But as you can see, Niji Sanji cannot really compete with Hololive's popularity. And the term VTuber is you know widespread over the entire Philippines. And as we can see, the overall shape of the Philippine graph shows the shape of its international counterpart. And thus, the trends of the searches are generally similar, with little differences in the early years. So of course, there are certain spikes, certain certain uh, crashes, certain dips. Sorry, certain dips. And so, yeah, obviously, it's going to be similar. I'm not surprised because you know, Philippines is part of the world. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> But now that we know the trend, um. Yeah, and dips and spikes tend to be more drastic as well with Philippine searches because there, there's not a lot of us here in the Philippines. Like, yeah, there's a lot of us, but 
compared to the rest of the world, guys. <laughs> like, we're only a small part of the world. So obviously, the dips and the spikes, they're a bit more dramatic, a bit more drastic in comparison. But now that we know those trends, it's time to check out the second burning question for our local VTubers. So, yes. for is another- there, in your opinion, is there an origin of Filipino VTubers? And mm-hmm. when and where do you think it all started? Or who started it all? What do yes. you guys think? Hmm. Wasn't there a video before that kind of listed... It was like a ranking of Filipino VTubers and their subscribers. Oh. I... I kind of forgot who it was, but I think there was someone before Kaheru. Kaheru was the oldest... The oldest, I mean, in VTuber age, I mean. Not like literally. Like, Kaheru, <laughs> I know that she's she's one of the OGs. And I do remember that there was like someone before her, so... Yeah, definitely those people. <laughs> I, oh. see. I see. Yeah. See, I see. Well, um, interestingly, you mentioned Kaheru, and actually, on, on what we were trying to do when tracing the beginnings of uh, PH VTubing, is that did you know that according to an IGN interview in 2020, Kaheru mm-hmm. was dubbed as the first Filipino VTuber debuting in mid-2018. But Jeez. of course, as, as you said, uh, there there may have to be more people that started uh, before her. And yeah, Kaheru also denies this, stating that there might have been others who came before her and that they just simply didn't really say anything or wasn't as visible or vocal as compared mm. to Kaheru. Yeah. Also, as we recall the graphs we showed earlier, my gosh, look at this graph. We may have shown <laughs> the popularity of these videos. Well, yes, the legacy. <laughs> <laughs> and as the talent could have been due to lockdowns caused by the pandemic. Because, of course, we were all in our houses. Of course, we have the only source of entertainment we could have <laughs> is to our phones. We're all in hikikomori mode. <laughs> yeah, all oh, hikikomori mode. And also, an article by Guidon, uh, dated January 2021, listed several Filipino VTubers who experienced a spike in their popularity. We can generally mm. see this as 2020 being the start of the rise of the Filipino VTubing community. So, yun nga, pa- nag-coincide talaga yung yun nga, pandemic and then the VTubing rise. Because, of course, if you were in, in your house, of course, you would have a lot, I guess, more time than to you know, become a VTuber if you want that. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I would know. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. I would know. Just <laughs> herself. Yeah. So actually, let uh, now that we've talked about you know the the rise of the Filipino VTubing community, let's actually talk about its culture. You know that its impact. So. What is our this is our next question by the way? What is the impact of VTubing in Filipino meme culture? Yeah, what do you guys think? What is the impact of if there's any of VTubing in Filipino meme culture? Have you guys uh, are you guys what is the question again what is the impact um, of what do you think is the impact of v2 big if there's any in filipino meme culture, meme culture. I don't know. In general, we're just cringe anime girls. <laughs> I mean, that's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Man. Oh, uh, but people are definitely using a lot of reaction p- pictures from VTubers, like smug faces. Yes. And a lot of people also would quote VTubers. I mean, I think that also applies to other countries in general but yeah more content for filipinos to make cringe memes <laughs> <laughs> that is true that is true with all of the many different screenshots and all that like ah yeah the ah, ah. ah. <laughs> <Good as> ah. <laughs> yes but 
you know, obviously, I'm sure you guys have heard of this. Have any of you heard of the Filipino summoning, especially on YouTube videos and streams? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, guys. <laughs> oh my Let's gosh. go. Filipino <laughs> I'm sure you guys have heard of it. I mean, come on. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it is the summoning. <laughs> I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this at the chat, and the, the, someone said this entire stream is a Filipino summon. And you know what? You guys are right. <laughs> You're, you're right. You're right. I don't get. It. I don't get it. I'm sorry. What what's the summoning and summon? Fill me up on this one. Okay, oh. so to explain a bit, the summoning happens whenever VTubers, particularly foreign VTubers, mention anything regarding Filipinos. Like, um, <laughs> in a VTuber's case, sometimes they will blurt out Filipino terms either due to a line in a game they're playing, or you know, just to share something that they've learned. Even more likely are the v Filipino fans themselves going out of their way to teach the VTubers some words. Sometimes, though, those words might be swear words instead, you know? As... <laughs> um, oh, um, man. <laughs> yeah, and if you're familiar with clippers, you know, the, you know, you know what a clipper is. Um, uh, the Filipino moments are those moments being taken as well. As you can see, um, there's an example here on the slide. Again, foreign VTubers blurting out swear words would become one of those clips and would end up becoming more popular. You can see some other clips here with um, <laughs> with Elera being being told by a super chat to uh, say, uh, "You're so uh, pogi mo, pogi ng mga swagatinos ko," <laughs> <laughs> and so the so, so begins the summoning. Or Kiara eating. The candy Filipinos. I've actually tried that, by the way. <laughs> I've actually tried that candy, by the way. It's a Spanish candy. It's so weird. It's like, it's so it's kind of racist because it's white on the outside, brown on the inside. <laughs> oh, I oh man, that's after. <laughs> and it's so bad. But I don't know the, 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 the thing itself. It's you know, it's not remarkable. It's candy. It's sweet. It's chocolate. And uh, we also oh, wait, have, I have this. <laughs> wait, you do? <laughs> I have this. What the hell? <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> and we also have, um, you know, crony, Oro crony, crony of Holo Levy and summoning a horde of, of her swagapinos. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very prominent thing. It has become like, you know, literally any mention of Filipinos or anything even vaguely pertaining to a Filipino and it would just summon a horde of them like it would just immediately start spamming <laughs> chat yeah <laughs> now next we have something that might be very familiar to our guests and audience if they have seen enough memes on the internet if it's not from the VTubers themselves they would make parodies of already existing memes like Lirika's Fishbowl Vendor Ako that parodies the Bunny Dango song, which is just one of the other memes we'll see later on. Are you guys familiar with this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Should these memes also have a purpose other than just for a passing entertainment? Casual viewers may not have the time to go in streams, and thus these short entertaining videos would appeal more to the casual audience. Do any of you, I feel like you know, the Ghost Fighter Filipino dub. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just watching. laughs> that's, that's just iconic. Iconic. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, these memes are a way to engage with fans as well. Of course, they're just generally a fun watch as a whole, especially if it's your favorite VTubers doing the memes. Here are some examples that you may or may not know. We have here, what is this? <laughs> so, Natachka, because. Featuring Arisa, a meme parody. We also have a Lyrica song parody of Sweets Parade by Hana Zawakana called Sardinas Parade. What is this? Do you guys know about this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> and of course, we have um, Kaheru's Genshin Impact parody of the viral Jepoy Dison video. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> For a dub. <laughs> this, is, this is very iconic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm sure you guys may be familiar with that. <laughs> yeah. 
And finally, we have the last part of the cultural side, the Japanese idol influences found within VTube, Filipino VTubers. Maybe we could hear a sample there. Joke. We might get them. Ah? <laughs> no. I mean, not a feature si Kira. <laughs> not a feature yung original song ni Kira. Hello. <laughs> not a feature siya sa slide. Hello. <laughs> Wag na, wag na po panoorin niyo na lang po ang aking YouTube video sa aking YouTube channel. <laughs> ay, ay. Um. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and as mentioned earlier in this presentation, we and cover popular Japanese songs. Our anime or vocalized and Filipino YouTubers have also done their own share of beautiful covers. Song covers are also more accessible to casual viewers, giving a listen to these covers to support their favorite favorite VTuber if they are unable to watch the stream. Yeah, say so they yeah they tend to do that. Yeah, because sometimes not everyone has the time to stream, and you know sometimes you just want a new song to bop to while you're stuck in Filipino commuter, dear. <laughs> yes, and uh, finally. We come down to our last topic of Filipino VTubers. So, who are these mm. Filipino VTubers? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Lang. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's not, parang, parang wala naman yata. <laughs> I don't know. How about you, dear guest? Uh, may, may kilala ba kayong Filipino VTuber? Parang wala naman. <laughs> Ala, 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 huyo ka, huyo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go to the side, let's check out some, <laughs> some of the independent Filipino VTubers, shall we? So, first, we have our legendary Kaheru, a perpetually 666-year-old orange na nakatira sa, basu- sa basurahan. <laughs> Ako rin. <laughs> <laughs> Their notable content includes voice acting and voice impressions, video and song parodies, song covers, games, and chatting streams, as well as collaborations with other VTubers, obviously. So, lahat naman tayo kilala si Kahiro, di ba? Pretty sure. Pretty sure, yes. Mm-hmm. So, Kahiro debuted in May 16 of 2018, the initial debut, with Kahiro's Life 2D debut being on September 11, 2021. Uh, the model was the the two D light two D model was created by four hundred four Yules and Kairu made the three D model. <laughs> Crazy! Wow! Yes, but, yes, um, yes. Kiri Blue Desu is also responsible for the live two D rigging of the live two D model for Kairu. Next, we have Mwah, Lyrica. We miss you, but also not so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Our our retired seven. <laughs> Generation, 69-year-old magical girl. Her notable content includes song covers, games, tier lists, video and song parodies, and meme videos, as you saw earlier. Lyrica debuted in June 4 of 2020. That's just two days before my birthday. <laughs> Happy wow. birthday. And graduated, unfortunately, last year, September 4th. Lyrica's model was created, was drawn by Egeric and rigged by Arista Temiz. Next, we have Kitsui Akira, uh, or Kichan. She describes herself as a cosmic nine-tailed kitsune girl. Her notable content includes song covers, games, and talking streams. Debuted in September 5, 2020, and she actually designed her own model. But And her alternative outfit design was by Fantaki. And next, we have Hanami Arisa. An angel that was cast away from heaven and is now a magical bird on earth. Her notable content includes games, talking streams, and song covers. She made her official Slash Light 2D debut on January 27, 2021. Her model was drawn by Riku chan and rigged by Kizufla. Next, I see Nato. Who's this? Who's that? Dare <laughs> dare. Who's this? Uh, would you like to Give us a, an introduction, uh, a rundown of who Kira Omori is. Kira Omori. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't even remember my lore. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Holy just crap. read it's on screen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on screen. 
That's my lore. Apparently, I am being used for, you know, to pay for bills and You're stuff. Being so yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm I'm being exploited, man. Someone save me from this situation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I do a lot of live 2D content, and yeah, that that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! So yeah, you debuted uh, April 12th of 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah. And yeah. you are your own mama and papa. Yes, I am my own parent, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Peach. I will do myself Peach. into existence. <laughs> You sure did. You sure did. Yes, sir. <laughs> Next, we have uh, Yuria. Would you like to tell us more about yourself, your lore, and all of that? Just a quick rundown. There, there's nothing much in my lore. <laughs> I'm just basically, um, yeah, vampire horse. Damn. That's <laughs> damn. 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 That's that's all. I, I don't know, I don't know, honestly. There's <laughs> I, I don't really pay attention to noise because I'm more likely just doing content rather because no one really needs to know the lore, I don't know. Understandable in, in content wise, you know. Understandable. <laughs> yes. Uh. So um additional lore for Yuria because Yuria doesn't care. So we will we will do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll care for you. We'll care for you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you, we, as you, if we recall correctly, you used to serve the military under Otahu Project, and you will be rebranding on March fifteenth. Am I are we correct? Yes, I'm gonna be rebranding. Holy crap! I have a plug, shameless plugging. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm gonna be rebranding on March fifteenth. Yeah, watch out for that, guys. And you made your debut October tenth, twenty twenty one, and. Your model is by drawn by Garanko, correct? Yes, Garanko. Yes. And uh, your life 2D was uh, the one responsible for your life 2D rigging is Kiru, with your 3D Kiru's model side. by Win Win. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. So. And now we introduce them. We also have you know some time for the companies and groups. Now we have here the otahu project otahu project describes themselves as an up-and-coming company that handles online entertainment personalities popularly known as vtubers they started their activities during december 5 2020 posting the initial teaser of their talents on their fb page and as of december 20 2021 they have announced a hiatus as their talents temporarily became independent, though they still continue their activities under the Otapi name. So we have here uh, the VTubers under Otahu, which is uh, Generation Zero, who, who is, and quite honestly, I do not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not fall into the hole, but here we have Aneru Nekogami. Akanari Matoi and Inoue Kiev. Okay. And we have Ronan, Unit Aleph, Sakura Yumekawa, Sumiko Hayashi, Erian Osamu, and who is that? Deichu. Inian. Tidian. Deichu. Lalo mo yan. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't say that. Okay. So uh, you know what's funny about it? Uh, I got been mistaken a lot as a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a door. <laughs> so yet, uh, yo, <laughs> I'm not a mushroom, guys. I'm a door. <laughs> <laughs> I've been mistaken a lot so many times. I don't blame them. I also thought you were one mushroom. Oh yes. my god! <laughs> Even manager thought I'm a mushroom. No. <laughs> Best manager ko na kala niya. Okay lang naman ako. <laughs> oh gosh. Well yeah, then, anyway, yeah. 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 I don't remember my life. <laughs> well, it says here on the slide, you are a mushroom queen and dwarf VTuber. Ay, totoo. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh wow, okay, I'm a queen now. <laughs> okay. I mean you're all queens. Yeah. yeah. All VTubers are queens. <laughs> and 
<laughs> oh my gosh, okay, day two felt. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, as as uh, cor- if we're correct, your you debuted, or your official debut was on October 30, 2021. Yes. And your model is by Yana Slash Le- Le- Levi Levy. Ah, uh, Levy. Levy. Yes, and the live 2D was done by Hana the Hyena. So yep. those are your parents. Yes, hi ma at pa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, now we are also uh, moving on to another uh, company then, which is Cometa, which, you know... Which Unfortunately, they, were they weren't able to join us. They were here joining in the fun. Pero Cometa describes themselves as the first Filipino VTuber corporation, managing talents with content variety while assisting them in the fields of marketing, management, and equipment. And the current CEO is Gira. And we also have the first generation of talent debuted in December 7, 2021, which we first have uh, Elaine, Mommy Elaine, a virtual diva sent from the next century. Wow. She decided to be a singer after having completed the mission she was sent to our present for, well, future. Nag side quest na lang siya. Tapos na daw yung main quest. What's your main story? Then next, we have Miria, a medic with a caring big sister-like personality that does experiments in her spare time. She likes sparkly things which is reflected in her attire. And, of course, we have Virgil, an officer from an unknown military who seeks renown. Her statue makes people mistake her for a child, so she wears her uniform even in daily affairs to command respect. Wow. Di ba naiinitan yan? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, ang init naman nun. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, anyway. So that, Anyways, that now is, that we have yeah. that, all of those VTubers, um, it's actually time for the Q&A, guys. Oh so I gosh. hope you're ready. Uh, we hope you're ready, guys. Uh-oh. Um, I, I thought the entire th- thing was a Q&A. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that's, not the, that's not the final Q and A yet, guys. Yeah. So, this um, is the so, final boss. Yeah, so it's Q and A time. Oh. So, chat. Oh. Uh, the Q and A form is still open. It is there pinned in the YouTube chat. Uh, but you can also scan the QR code on screen. Um, if it is on screen. Um, so, so if you would like to ask questions, ask away. But do note that there are rules to our questions. So. Um, first, please keep questions respectful and mind the boundaries of the guests. Questions with discriminatory, predatory, and generally harmful intent will not be entertained because we want to keep our guests safe. Okay? And next, be sure to keep your questions in line with the topic of the ACLE or ACLE, which is VTubing, internet content creation, and media that are closely linked with two of the afore- with the two aforementioned topics. So make sure that you know, walang out of topic, guys. So if you would want to ask questions, please keep that in mind. Next, please be clear and specific with your question to ensure that the guest can understand and answer promptly. And finally, in the interest of time, not unfortunately, not every question will be entertained. So, but we will try our best to accommodate as many as we can. All right, so are you guys ready, our dear guests, to answer the questions? It's meron na pang kodigo. Meron na kodigo. Hindi pa kopya. Hindi pa kopya. Sige, basta mo ganang pala. Sige, pwede, mo lang very slight. Okay, sige, sige. Okay. Okay, so our first question. How did you guys start your VTubing journey? Like, how did you find out about VTubers? And how did you craft your VTuber avatar? Like, what inspired you? This is more directed to the independents, but they too may also answer. So, how did you start? How did you start your VTubing journey? Oh, wait, who's gonna start? Uh, any of you, actually. Any. Uh, whoever wants to answer first. It's probably Kira. Kira. Okay. <laughs> I'll go ahead. I don't know script chart. <laughs> All right. So basically, I I discovered VTubers when I first saw a few clips of Tekara on YouTube, and then I was really 
like enamored with how she does content and like the live 2D model. I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. She's an anime girl. Holy shit, I'm gonna become like that too. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I basically learned how to use live 2D and after that illustrated and rigged my own model. And right after that, I published my tutorials. Yeah, that's how I started. Yeah, and I wanted that's... to yeah I wanted to stick to food that I like for the theme of my VTuber so I like peach mango pie but I decided to just go with peach because I don't know it, the colors are cute yeah. Yun pala yung dahilan ko bakit peach kasi wala wala na mga peach sa Pilipinas eh. Yes. Uh, would anyone else like to answer? Um, for me. Yeah, go ahead. There's there's a certain person that I actually wanted to collab with, which is really really impossible because of the language barrier. But mm. I've been plan. Uh, it's because of Kuzha. If you know Kuzha. Kuzha. Oh. I've watched oh. some of his clips, and he was so wholesome. It was like crap. I wanna I wanna try to be like to be like this kind of person, and I did. And I hopped in on VTubing because of that. It took time because VTubing is honestly expensive and you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, understandable but yeah, it was the reason why i started my vtubing journey but other other than that i have friends who actually told me that i'm very very much talkative why not i just project it on streaming i plan on okay. actually just streaming flesh tubing oh, flesh tubing mm -hmm. is a term for people who stream with their real faces on but then oh, really? I discovered that you can be like a VTuber where you're an anime girl. Like, oh, that's kind of nice. I like the concept. So I, jo I jumped into him. So, yeah, it's basically it. Yeah. Let's see. So, um, we all wanted to be anime girls. We all wanted to be <laughs> anime girls. I understand. We that is very be valid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. What do you oh. think are the most difficult parts of being a VTuber? Like, what are the struggles? I know there are a lot. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, paying for your Wi Fi to be good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is man. true. That is true. Not just that, even like, you know, you should also expect in the, um, saving a lot of money. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's very even, expensive uh, to get into. Ah, uh, true. Even time management, you know, it's really hard if you're like yeah. working, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. working or studying. Oh, that's stress. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Um, mm. for me, I'd I'd say is that keeping yourself re relevant or something. Oh, because right. let's be honest, oh, the yeah. more the more time flies, the more we become overly ex overly saturated as a VTuber mm. in in the VTubing community. Although we're not really wild, wildly known in global, technically, because I've been in some countries where I've asked a lot of um, weeaboo people or like otaku in general, asking them if there's like any v uh, VTubers they watch and they don't know what VTubing is. But I yeah. feel like in our community, since what? we're surrounding in this environment, I feel like I I feel like we're really oversaturated and we have to. I know that we shouldn't be looking at it as a comp competition, but mm. you know, content is content. You really have to put up with with the same energy and effort like other like others are doing. You know, if mm. people are going for another outfit in this season, you you oh, you have to like jump into this kind of trend too. It's mm. it's really hard to keep up just to let everyone know that you're still alive, you're still relevant, and you're still streaming or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's understandable. That's the thing. Especially when you get like burnouts and yeah, you don't know what to do. It's unavoidable. Because yeah. even if, you, for example, you, you're like in a hiatus for streaming and you still want to be relevant, you have to do something about it and you have to make up for it. For like, for example, making a, making your own clip, uh, clipper YouTube account or mm. posting on TikTok, posting on either any social oh, media that you're live making memes just to keep mm. up with everyone that hey you're still alive i hope she streams soon or something so yeah it's really yeah. hard to keep up just to be relevant or something yes understandable 
yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeyeah. yeah in contrast though mm-hmm. like you know we have the, the difficulties the struggles what are the most what do you think are the most enjoyable parts of being a vtuber now that we've listed down the struggles like, you know what makes mm. you happy as a vtuber Yeah, if you think that oh man, this yeah. is worth it. Yeah, my other thing. Money, <laughs> money. Give us your money, guys. Thank you. Valid, valid, <laughs> valid. Oh man. Oh man. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <clears throat> well, um, the things that I really enjoy in VTubing is being able to share my rigging work and also. Just helping people get into it by themselves because I do teach live TD. I really do enjoy answering live TD questions during my stream and just you know, uh, just having fun with my viewers. I I don't say that I like having fun with my viewers because they'll their egos, man. Mm, no, no, fuck you mm-hmm. guys. But yeah, I, <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, I do. I do enjoy interacting with people. Viewers, yeah. yeah, I could, I could handle that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's understandable. Yeah, I mean, I, I started learning live studio because of you, Kira. <laughs> Shush, of you. Let's go. <laughs> the legitimate oh. child of Kira Mori. <laughs> <laughs> what about the others? What is what um, do you enjoy about being like being a VTuber? Uh, for me, uh, it's about you know like this other side of my pa- personality because uh, mm-hmm. I never share like my you know like being like this one. like right now because I am really different from real life to online. Like I am not that open to real life, but when it goes mm-hmm. to online, I can just you know share. I can say you know you can see my dark side. I'm just joking. You <laughs> 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 can like this other personality of me, like you know being open up and being you know enjoying what I'm doing and also. Like what cares and just going talking with your viewers. That's like fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Like you know, you're just, you just, you don't have to worry about people judging you because like, if they judge you, you can just leave. <laughs> yeah, just leave. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. So yeah, I understand that completely. Like yeah, it's it's what really makes it worth it being able to interact with all those people and you know enjoying that interaction. <laughs> So, in, speaking of which, what do you think are some of the advantages of being a VTuber compared to a usual streamer? Like, how is it better that it, you're a VTuber rather than, you know, just a regular yeah. like, Twitch streamer or whatever? Yeah. What, is, what do you think? What do you think? Oh, definitely not showing your face. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. Yes. <laughs> That's course. true. That's true. Some people are insecure, so... Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, yes. I'm, not, I'm not brave enough to show my face. No, you know, people might start counting your pimples. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> the pressure to put on makeup, even though you're just staying at home, and yeah, I can't. I don't think I can keep up with that. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's everyone agrees that it's definitely the anonymity <laughs> as well. Yes. Uh, like you can be a different person, you know. Not to say that you can escape other people recognizing you, but you know, <laughs> there's still that there's that sense of security. Um, do you think actually that there are differences between the two? This ahead, um, apart from the virtual avatar, like differences between oh. VTubers and regular streamers. Do you think there's a difference apart from like the avatar? Hmm. Content wise, um, I think no, there's no difference. Uh. Except that you're limited to do, to what you're, uh, you can do. Like like oh, yeah. Kira said, that it's mostly because privacy or something, mm-hmm. and you yeah. can really stream yourself, uh, like like others where they do vlogs and stuff. Ah uh, yeah so, yeah. Content wise, there's really a difference. Yeah, and also like things that you can say about yourself. You know, there's a limit to that. You oh, have yeah. to control yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah, I've had I've mo- I've almost like docked myself multiple times. <laughs> oh, um, oh no! <laughs> don't worry, it's fine. Like, yeah, it, it happens though, and that's understandable. Hmm. So, next question: 
Do you think VTubing is still a foreign concept here in the Philippines? And does it being foreign add to the difficulty of being a streamer, of, of being a VTuber here in the Philippines? I don't think it's a very foreign concept because of the number of people who are getting into VTubing. Uh, yeah, it, it is growing. I've already seen a ton of Filipino VTubers and yeah, but with regards to, you know, the mainstream mainstream media, I don't think VTubing is very... I think VTubing is still foreign when it comes to, yeah, mainstream media. I, I'm not sure if VTubers have already been covered in local media and such. But yeah, I feel like it's still pretty limited to people who like anime and Japanese culture in general. I yeah. see. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I feel at least. Yeah, so... And yeah, it's definitely like, it's, it's still like kind of niche. Like I ask, I mm. still like say people like as a fun fact about myself, Oh, I, I'm a VTuber, I stream because I, I like to dox myself like that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Doc yourself as an anime girl <laughs> uh, or an anime boy, but yeah, um, I still like say, oh, I'm a VTuber, and then everyone in the room just asks, what's a VTuber? And I'm just like, uh -huh. oh, I'm Ooh. still not much of a weeb, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> like it's still very much like sort of a niche concept. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and it definitely, obviously, you know, uh, understandable that it adds, it does add to difficulty of getting more viewership from you know people mm. you know, because <laughs> you know they're like, what's a VTuber? <laughs> am, am, am I gonna be into that? So yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. So, so since you guys are Philippine VTubers, what do you think are the unique characteristics of being a Philippine, like a PH-based VTuber, like? Associating yourself with the PH VTuber like community, what do you think is unique about PH VTubers? What do you guys think? Yeah, how how is it any different from other you know like Japanese VTubers Japanese, yeah, or Japanese VTubers or Western? You know, para may sarili bang I guess uh, identity flavor identity. Hmm. According to chat, ride the power of the Swagapino memes. You know what? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's Swagapino Sakalam. That's correct, yes. So, yeah, it's, um, it's probably just the culture, right, guys? Like, the, yeah, the I whole... do think. I, I yeah. guess being a Filipino VTuber adds a lot of scuffed elements to a stream. Like, imagine <laughs> Philippine internet, your neighbor's dogs, your, your <laughs> siblings who go into your room, your stuff neighbor's like that, chickens. <laughs> <laughs> There's also like possible chance, you know, your parents calling you and you're like, wait, oh, lang ma, man. wait, 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 Next question. Do you think that VTubing can grow more popular here in the Philippines? Like, do you think it has potential to grow even more popular than it already yeah. is? Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. As I yeah. said, as I yeah. said before, um VTubing is VTubing is oversaturated in in our environment where everyone knows about V2 um v VTuber in general, but and the outside scale a lot of countries don't know what VTubing is, so mm, yeah. the more it becomes like a wild scale, I think the more PH VTubing can be like very known. Because mm. I've seen a lot of VTubers who are very much popular that are like half Filipino, like Mista and um, Skarl. 
Yeah. Wow. Like, there's like a lot of um, Filipino VTubers out there and um, it's not really just, you know, glorified enough. That's mm. why no one notices it much. Mm. Yeah, but it has it does have potential of growing even yeah. more than it already has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. yeah. Uh, especially when people try to branch out from variety streaming. Because I see that most VTubers tend to gravitate toward, you know, gaming, just chatting. Yeah, variety streaming in general. I really think that VTubing, I mean, not only in the Philippines, internationally too, it has a lot of potential for, you know, YouTube content stuff. And I feel like there's still a lot of topics that are unexplored by VTubers in terms of shorter form content. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Mm. So yeah, it definitely has potential. Definitely. Um, okay, next question. Do you guys think there is a distinction between VTubers and other types of virtual celebrities? celebrities. Like, what do you guys think? Is there's, yeah. a, there's a distinction between, or is everyone just a VTuber now? <laughs> <laughs> Like other types of virtual <laughs> celebrities. Like for example, Hatsune Miku. Yeah. Like, oh, Hatsune first... Miku, my queen! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's a... Well, if, if there is a distinction, what is that distinction? I think it's the fact that VTubers are just basically virtual streamers. Mm. Yeah. They're streamers. So... Yeah. So... Yeah. yeah basically. That's all basically the, the difference mm. I, I think yeah and you can you could get more genuine interactions compared to you know mascots and virtual celebrities when you watch mm -hmm. VTubers <laughs> yes yes definitely so that's actually the last of our pre-made questions we have questions from uh, that have been submitted from chat so Eri if you would please yeah so yes, sure our first question here is uh how would you choose to grow as a filipino vtuber one aim for international views mainly stream in english or to niche down for a filipino audience mainly stream in tagalog and also and though you or what are the pros and cons of both mm. oh <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually oh, huh? the type of um, person who prefers international views mm. because um, most of my friends are basically English VTubers, which are uh, who targets mostly international. So mm. Mm. yeah, because I don't know having having yourself um, known worldwide kind of pog you know yeah it does have this it's kind of pog yeah it does <laughs> be, kind of pog. Do be. <laughs> definitely pog <laughs> but i think the cons about that is that n not much knows that you're filipino because oh, yeah, a yeah. lot of people are like confused when i say that i'm filipino like i'm half half or something and really? then they why go, are they like, confused <laughs> yeah what? yeah they didn't know because because basically i've never really catered in locals ah, i yeah. immediately went to international oh wait, wait you so you've never sweared in filipino in your streams you haven't said ah, i've no. sweared <laughs> i've cursed <laughs> and such but mm. <laughs> um well in my statistics 97 percent 97 93 percent mm. are basically usa oh American damn <laughs> yeah. wow oh. a lot. yeah yeah they're mostly um from usa mm. some of their uh, some of them are from eu and i think filipino is like a philippines is like a small percentage there mm. oh, interesting oh. interesting mm. yeah yeah i see i see all right mm. next question uh actually we only have room for two more uh chat oh, questions sheesh. or we yeah. apologize if we won't be able to <laughs> yeah, answer yeah. all of your Sorry. questions but we will try our best again. yeah we will try and then we have here uh we starts with the greeting actually hi Ooh. hope you're having a great day today 
The question isn't about great days though, it's the opposite in fact. Ito na. How do you cope when the ever so reliable internet service providers of our country oh my God. do not cooperate and it gets in the way of you streaming? Oh my God. Oh man. Yeah, so how do you cope? How do you cope with that, guys? Well, uh, see, cope. You know, you just, you know, I had to like tell, maybe it's like, okay, you know what? We can just, you know, reschedule the stream like that. Oh, you know, yeah, that's operating. what I do every time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 me too. I just like, guys, uh, my internet's fighting me today and it is winning. <laughs> yeah, you know, just reschedule like, or like just stream later. Yeah, <laughs> internet yeah, yeah, yeah. See you guys next month. <laughs> See you next month, guys. <laughs> My God. Yeah, that's understandable. No, nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's also yeah. a way, though. Like, um, what I did uh, before, I used to be PLDT, and I hate it so much. <laughs> I yeah. keep lagging. Oh, PLDC. I had to like know my area, so I didn't know that my area is supposed to be like globe. So like I switched the globe, and then I barely lag now. I just yeah, ooh, really. congrats. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. But like good others God say, like, but, but like I said, no, PLD is not good for my my area, but globe is. PLD is also not good for our mental health, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, oh, naka ano, late sa online meeting. Nako. <laughs> no. Right. Okay, so a final question, the one that has that has the uh, okay. How do you guys balance your VTuber and personal lives and what do you think about the possibility of having educational VTubers? Oh. You know, I've actually thought of creating educational content but unfortunately i'm not super super confident in my skills but <laughs> in what terms of balancing i learned from you <laughs> what do you I mean, mean i mean <laughs> other educational type content you know shit like math man <laughs> anyway hmm balancing my personal life with vtubing is actually quite difficult especially because of um uh stuff like i'm just I, I, I just have a handicap in life bro i am very poor in time management so i try to look for ways or applications that could kind of give me a crutch for that so i tend to schedule my day but every like every 10 minutes like it's very detailed so i make sure to stick to my schedule and of course prioritize things like school before VTubing. Yeah. Wag kayo magkakram, wag kayo magpa-procrastinate, yun talaga. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good advice. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you think you can do it now, do it now. Don't don't try your best not to postpone it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. you, you hear that, guys? You hear that? Yeah. You hear that, guys? You're Man, that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So, nag- oh, lecture na kayo, na kayo <laughs> Cause, um, for me when I, uh, if I, ba- I it's hard to balance VTubing and personal mm. lives because in 2021 I was juggling three things yeah. actually four oh, um, wow. college oh. VTubing commissions and as well as my family I'm juggling oh. four of them I have to sacrifice at least one thing mm. to manage to, to manage at least three of them much better I oh, see. Yeah. and since That's i wasn't <clears throat> mentally well i mm-hmm. stopped for don't do this children <laughs> i stopped <laughs> school for a while and i'm coming back soon oh, but yeah cool. i'm focusing on my <laughs> mental health and as well as mm. doing some vtubing as a side job like, yeah, it's not, it's not for you. Yeah, yeah. Proud right. of Glad you. you're taking care of yourself. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I'm dying inside. <laughs> <laughs> who is it? <laughs> At this point, who is it? For me, like the personal life in the VTuber. Oh, it's very stressful. Because mm-hmm. um, I'm in college and then I'm taking up nursing. <laughs> oh. You know, oh. Save, I need to save lives, you know. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, uh, I have to like really balance since I also you know procrastinate. <laughs> so I really mm. had to also I, I have a stream, so I had to like to force myself finish all the things I had to do, like mostly like you know nurse related stuff. So I had to like finish that, then after everything is done, I can now stream mm. because I don't wanna like you know doing streaming then out of nowhere oh wait I need to pass this and then mm. that's like a very very difficult thing so always you know do do your ACADs or do your personal first before streaming uh, yeah. actually streaming yeah. is a very good motivation for you know doing stuff on time good <laughs> 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 like, at least you for me yeah. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to worry about anything else so finish everything yeah it's not going deadline do it <laughs> yeah true <laughs> Yes, so I think that's the last from our audience questions. We're so sorry if we weren't able to accommodate yeah. the questions because we are pressed for time. So we do have one last question. If you could give advice to aspiring and currently struggling VTubers, what would you tell them? Like, what's your advice? Okay, your advice to me. <laughs> Oh my my to struggle, <laughs> um, be yourself. <laughs> be yourself, Honestly, yeah. just be yourself. Yeah, don't. Mm. I've I've said this many times, but don't pressure yourself into being someone you can't. You're not, because at the end of the day, no matter what you are, people are gonna watch you because it's you. No matter what you stream, you're just gonna come because they want to see you, they want to hear you, they want to watch you. So yeah, just yeah. build your community. And one one thing's for sure. Don't think about the numbers. Of course you you would, mm. but for now, focus on building your community, because your community will always have your back no matter what. Yes, yes, that's yeah. correct. Mm. Nice. Hearing those words in Yuria's voice is very reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like, you know, nice. yes, no, actually, actually. <laughs> oh man, I'm speaking mm. from experience. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, about man. you, Deju? What is your advice to us? Yeah, yeah. Like, um, give, us, give us knowledge. Give, give us wisdom. Yeah, so, if you want to give birth, then be a beach of it because you know we only live once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, go for it. it. YOLO. <laughs> um. Yes, go for it. Don't yeah. don't let anything stop you. Just do it. Yeah, just, In the do it. Of, <laughs> just the words of Shia LaBeouf. Just do it. Just do just it. Do it. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys so much for the, for those wonderful insights. It's really really helpful for a lot of um, actually in chat there are people who really really listen. They really appreciate the. The advice you've given but we also have a bonus question yes oh, oh, bonus question Sheesh. Bo- bonus question <laughs> Ari, would you like to do the others <laughs> okay <laughs> okay for our for our final and bonus question for one million oh wow <laughs> who wants to be a billionaire do you think <laughs> that annoying orange is a vtuber <laughs> yes <laughs> Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Oh my god. People are saying who look like this. Niji san did this. How about annoying orange? <laughs> <laughs> oh Everyone is not saying yes. <laughs> Everyone says yes. yes. <laughs> LP, no, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? What do you think about calling an orange your senpai? Yeah, like an actual orange. <laughs> not Kaheru. Not Kaheru, but an actual orange. Oh man. I don't know. <laughs> if you... I... Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> so go straight to the acceptance part of the stages of grief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, man. Wow. Okay. So yes, that is the last question. Yes. Uh, sadly, it looks like uh, that's all the time we have left for today. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> I wanted to learn more about like their experiences. Honestly, like want to ask them more, but yeah, we don't have time. 
Yeah, me too. It's actually really interesting to hear up front what it's like to be a to stream as a VTuber. Are you giving it we're streaming now? Yes. But before <laughs> we end today's stream, do our lovely guests have anything to say to our audience? Maybe yeah. like a vlog or what yeah, or whatnot. Social it, Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Hi guys. So you can guys follow me and I most stream there, so just go you know, search Daychus uh, underscore Ota P underscore N Daychu underscore Ota underscore P <laughs> <laughs> and then for my Twitter, uh, you can just search Deju and there you go. <laughs> yes, the man. Okay, right. right on that. Yes. Let's go. Hi. Uh, <laughs> plugging, plugging my socials. I think it's all Kira Omori. I have Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, but I never post there. Instagram, but I also never post there. <laughs> So, <laughs> subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell because I very rarely stream. Ha 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 ha. Yes, yeah. we want to learn those bits of live 2D knowledge and stuff. <laughs> yeah, if you want to learn live 2D and become a VTuber, go over to my channel and stream yeah. so and ask me questions and stuff. Yeah. Yes, yeah, speaking from experience, it's a lovely place to be to learn about live 2D. <laughs> All right, Yuria, what uh, would you like to plug? Oh, uh, shamelessly plugging. Hi guys, again, March 15th, I'm rebranding. You won't be seeing this vampire anymore. No, <laughs> no. But anyway, <laughs> I stream on Twitch. I stream on Twitch. Uh, I'm a variety streamer, so you can see me randomly streaming Terraria, just chatting, I don't, I don't know, whatever you want. And on YouTube, I mostly stream ASMR content because that's what my chat demanded, so why not? <laughs> and I just got my Instagram, but if you want to follow, go ahead. And I I do TikToks as well, and I should post on Twitter. Yes. All of them are just Yuria because I'm very much, you know, unique in my name. No one ever thought of this name, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just just search it out. I'm gonna be there. So yeah. I'm Yay. mostly uh on Twitch, so yeah. Thank you so much. Yay. Thank you, thank you. Let's so last go. is us. So thank you guys. Thank you so much to everyone for coming, to our guests and to our beloved chat, both on yes. YouTube and Facebook. I hope you guys are doing great and I hope you enjoyed. Um, to everyone by the way in chat, we hope you can take the time to answer our evaluation form. Yes, um, it will be sent in the chat, and please, 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 please do take the time to, to answer the evaluation form. We would love to know your insights um, on to like how we can improve our content. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. So everyone, we hope you enjoyed the acle. We hope you enjoyed our guests over here and you everyone you know we all hope that we you all learned more about vtubers today and of course all together now all right so will you say uh what to annie with us yes what to annie because annie is our is our organization's mascot Yes. So, oh. three, two, one. Yay!